Hey everybody, so I'm going to show you guys how to take out the pins on the GM bulkhead connector and what I do is I actually use this little this little tiny screwdriver which is I think like a 0.8 millimeter. It's a tiny one. You can also use a paper clip to get that in there and that should work for you also. So let me grab my bulkhead connector and I'll show you what we're talking about. But, but I'll also show, so these are the pins that you want to remove. They're from a GM, 60s, Chevy, Chevelle, Camaro, anything like that. And these are the bulkhead connectors that goes into the firewall harness um, on the engine side. So here I'll show you guys a little connector I have that I took out just to show you the dynamics of it because it's so interesting. But this is the connector, and you can see that little tab right there, I actually broke off. I'm a little bummed about that, because these pieces are hard to get. On the other side, that's the tab that you want to push in. So both those tabs on each side are what you want to push in, so you can actually slide this connector out. And it's a very simple process, once you know how to do it, and I able to get that one out, but I kind of destroyed that tab by pushing too hard. You don't have to push too hard, those are very flimsy. Um, not flimsy, but very uh, delicate at this point in their 50-year existence, okay? So let me just see if I can get into a little bit better position here. But, the, but these are the connectors. That's the bulkhead. Exciting stuff. And what I'll do here is I'm going to try to position the camera so that I can film and take one of these out at the same time. So please disregard my blue glove if it gets in the way, but it really doesn't get in the way. I actually do a pretty good job, I think. So here we go. So you're just gonna put it into each side of it. So I'm gonna push it into the side of it, and then I'm going to push, um, push in. I wanna push in on that clip so that I can move those tabs inward so I can slide this thing out. And that's, it. that's really it, so I'm gonna push it in so I push it in pretty good there, and I'll, I'll just test it out and see if the, the bulkhead will come out at this time. So it won't, so I'll go to the other side, and I'll just put it in a little bit more. And this thing will just slide right out, and there she comes. Very, very simple once you know how to do it. So and again, I'll show you the good tabs. See that tab right there? That's what you want to push in. And you're actually going to want to push it back out once you clamp it, once you push it back through the bulkhead so it, so it clicks, so it stays in place. And that's, that's the tab again that you push in, and you're going to push it back out once you put the bulkhead back in so that you can make sure that the clip sticks. And I'll go ahead and do this one. Um, I'll uh, just pry it out just to tear it just a little bit. Nothing, nothing special, not too hard so that it will make sure that it sticks into the bulkhead connector and doesn't leave, you know, doesn't pop out or anything like that. And that's perfect. And do the other side and you should be good to go. And you always want to make sure you stick it back in the same port and in the same direction that it came into. Um, because if you flip them around, they won't get a good contact on the fuse box. And guess what? You're not going to get your, you know, your thing, your connection. But you can see there that I was able to pry it open, pry it back and forth. And now I have a good connection. And I'll do it again. So you just bam, 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 done. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like my videos.